Hi, I'm Tom Keir and I'm here with Take Me Fishing to show you one quick knot that's really easy to tie. So easy that you can do it at night, which is what we do when we're night fishing for striped bass out here on Cape Cod. And it's called the Double Surgeon's Knot. Starting to think about fishing with the great weather that's coming out, the herring are all in the rivers, um, starting to see some shad bush blooming. Fish moon was a couple of weeks ago and it's time to think about knots. Double Surgeon's Knot is one that tests out at 100% breaking strength. It's great for matching up somewhat dissimilar diameters of monofilament. It's great if you're going to blend a monofilament with a fluorocarbon. It's got great holding capacities and tests out real well. Just to cover a couple of different parts of the knot, you've got your long line, which is called the standing line, and you've got the short end, which is called the tag end. And the easy way to remember that is tag is a short word, short piece of the line. Standing is a long word, long piece of the line. So I'll use those as we go forward with the knot. I've got two different colored lines here. One is a light brown, one is a chocolate brown. And um, that's just so you can see how the knot folds out. So what we're going to do is take your standing line with the tag and match it up with the tag of the new replacement line going into the standing. We're going to form one loop that is just a simple turn it back around itself. And now you've got the beginnings of an overhand knot. Take the tag end of the replacement line and run it through the loop. Take the standing line and run that through the loop. What you basically have right now is an overhand knot and that's how simple this knot is take the initial tag end run that back through the loop take the standing line and run that through the loop again and that's all that it is there's your double surgeons knot you can start to pull it down as you're going to seat any type of knot give it a little bit of moisture whether it's from river or seawater um, just so that the knot is lubricated and the friction doesn't cause it to weaken and just start to pull down. You'll see that it folds back against itself. Pull on the two standing lines to seat. Pull on the two tag ends to seat. Trim and go. One of the benefits of this knot is that you can leave an extra long tag and tie a fly as a dropper to it. You can leave it out if you're in a kelpie area and it'll start to pick up some of the weeds as you're retrieving your plug or your, your spoon or your fly. And it's something that you can use for fresh water with thinner uh, diameters of monofilament by simply running three, four, or five turns through that same knot. It's an easy knot to use, good to go, have a good season.